Hi there Year 9s, welcome to another video by Mr Hegarty and Mr Arnold for your work this year. To start with, would you in your book please write down today's date and title? We are, class work today, we are finding fractions of an amount and please put today's date that you're doing the work. So, I'm going to go through a few examples, nice simple examples, take full notes, draw all the pictures I draw, and by the end of it, you will be an expert at finding out fractions of an amount. So let, let's look at the first question. The first question, please copy this example in your books. Find one-fifth of two, uh, 20 pounds. Now, at the moment, we're getting good at ratio and proportion by drawing pictures, so we're going to continue this method. We want to find one-fifth of 20 pounds. So our total, our amount, is 20 pounds. We are going to draw, as always, a box. And this box represents 20 pounds. Okay, so the whole box represents 20 pounds. Now I want to find one-fifth of this. So I need to separate the box into fifths into five equal parts. So let's separate the box into fifths. One box, two box, three box, four box and five boxes. Now the question is, how much must go in each box to add up to 20 pounds? How many, what equal number must go in each box so that five of them add up to 20 pounds? Well, with a bit of thought, you'll think to yourself, well, if four went there, Four pounds went there, four pounds went there, four pounds went there, and four pounds went there, then that would add up to 20 and it would separate out the 20 into five equal parts. Some of you might like to use your calculator and do 20 divided by five to separate it into five equal parts and you'll get four. So the question asks us, what is one fifth of 20 pounds? Well, one fifth is one box. That must be one of the fifths, one fifth. So therefore the answer, one fifth of 20 pounds is equal to four pounds. Okay, and underline your work as so, and that is a perfect uh, way of laying out your working and will get you full marks. Okay, let's do another example, just ever so slightly more complicated. Take a moment to write example two in your books. We are finding two-fifths of 20 pounds. Now previously, just looking back, we were found finding one-fifth of 20 pounds. Now we're finding two-fifths. So this here, this word here means two-fifths. That's how you say it, two-fifths. Okay, so we'll do as we always do. Our total is 20 pounds. So let's draw ourselves a box or a rectangle to represent that 20 pounds. And we want to separate it into fifths, just as we did before. So one box, two box, three box, four box, five box. Now, how much must, must go in each box so that they add up to 20 pounds? Well, we did this in the previous example, it must be four, must be four, must be four, four and four. Why? Because four plus four is eight, plus four is 12, plus four is 16, plus four is 20. Oh yeah, all five boxes had to add up to 20. Again, if you wanted to, you could do 20 divided by uh, five on your calculator. So 20 divided by five and you would get four. Now this question is asking us, look, two fifths of, of 20 pounds. Well, one-fifth is four, so two-fifths must be two of the boxes, four plus four, which is eight. So we're going to write down, therefore, the answer, two-fifths of 20 pounds must be eight. And don't forget your units, we're dealing with pounds, so it's eight pounds, and underline your answer. And that's a perfectly laid out solution to quite a difficult problem. Let's do another example. Three-fifths of 15 pounds. Take a moment to copy that example exactly. As always, our total here in this case, we're going to highlight it, is 15 pounds. 
So let's draw a box to represent £15. So this box here is representing £15. The whole large box is representing £15. Now what does 3 divided by 5 or 3 over 5 mean? Remember we said it meant 3 fifths. Okay, so this means 3 fifths. So the first thing we want to do is we want to separate our boxes into fifths, into five equal parts. So one box, two box, three box, four box, five box. Now, if five boxes add up to 15 pounds and there is an equal amount in each, how much must be in each? Well, with a bit of thought, you'll think to yourself, well, three. Three must be in each box. Why? Well, 3 and 3 is 6, so 3 is 9, and 3 is 12, as 3 is 15, adds up to what we want. Or some of you might like to use the calculator and do 15 divided by 5 and get 3. So therefore, uh, each box is worth £3. Now, that means one-fifth, one of the boxes, one-fifth is £3. We want three-fifths, so we want 3, 6, and 9. 3 out of the 5 boxes, 3 fifths, so therefore we'll write down 3 fifths of £15 is equal to £9. One mark for the unit, one mark for the answer, underline your work just to show um, the person marking it you have it right and they can tick it easily. Very last example now, just a slightly more challenging numbers here. Find 5 sixths of 30 pounds. Remember 5 over 6 means 5 out of 6 or you could write that as 5 6 like that. So our total is 30 pounds. Let's draw ourselves a box. That represents 30 pounds. We want to separate it this time into 6 we want to separate it into six, so one box, two box, three box, four box, five box, six box. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the question is, if the whole six boxes add up to 30 pounds, how much must go in each box? Well, you should be able to work this out, but you should think to yourself, well, five. And you can do that by just thinking what number must go in each box, so when I add it together, as 6 times adds up to 30 because 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, some of you might like to share out the 30 pounds into 6 boxes and you'll get 5 and do that on your calculator. Now, this question asked us for 5, 6. So here's 1 out of 6 or 1, 6, 2 out of 6, 2, 6, 3 out of 6 or th uh, 3, 6, 4 out of 6 or 4, 6. And 5 out of 6 must be all those we've highlighted. So therefore, write your answer, 5, 6 of £30. We're saying it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds. And underline your work. Don't forget the unit. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful in finding fractions of an amount.